my name is Tiana Lewis, and I'm representing Lincoln High. Yeah. And this poem is titled, Only Temporary. It's like the feeling you get when you wake up in the morning. Tranquility fills you until stress shatters the calm. The moment of complacency is only temporary, like literary narratives ending too soon. I am looking in a mirror. We are stuck in a staring contest. Metaphysical truth clashes with the reality of our senses. I grew up with a doctrine specific body type thin, a standard forever unattainable for me. I let myself fall into dark, rapid depression where rocks of pencil sharpener blades carved F-A-T into my flesh. I idolized pale marble skin over ivory bones. I've ruined the body I was given. My skin is covered in stretch marks and self-inflicted scars etched into my definition as a human being. I know what worthlessness feels like. On the first day of kindergarten, I was a victim of renovation, stuck in a high school I was apparently too big to fit into. Cheerleaders threw candy wrappers at me as I sat alone at breakfast. I was traumatized by the mealtime vulnerability, giving others the right to dehumanize a five-year-old. On the first day of sophomore year, I spent the beginning of class searching for a desk to fit into. For 10 months, I walked down that fourth floor hallway with fear restricting air, filling my lungs. The tightness of wood against my chest never outweighed the attempt to keep myself from crying. For my 16th birthday, I was diagnosed with an eating disorder. After three years of emptying myself of reciprocal compliments and voices telling me I am better than an imbalance of brain chemicals, my biggest accomplishment was feeling my collarbones for the first time. The ivory I've been searching for all this time. I can consciously condemn my actions while my mind still believes in the disappointment I am. I am still stuck in a staring contest with this body I am bound to. My vision has been shrouded in misconceptions for so long. I'm beginning to lose sight of the soul inside. The happiness no longer shines as bright as the limitations I have given myself. For not being able to commit to confidence by starvation, I will never be more than the insignificant girl with shards of broken mirrors filling intentional gashes and razor wire esophagus wounds from the times I took the words of those who believed in me and purged possibility. I spend too much time taping note cards over bad memories. Recovery found on that same fourth floor hallway. I can't bring myself to walk down unless someone is waiting for me. I tell myself to keep from blinking waiting for the image in the mirror to become anything else. It's like the feeling you get when you go to bed at night, knowing the sun will rise tomorrow. These feelings of disillusionment are only temporary. <laughs>